Hey you all, my name is Jasmine and I am a first semester nursing student. I actually start a nursing school on August 30th. It'll be my very first day and I am super excited. While prepping for nursing school, I heard a lot of people talk about the Nursing Thrive Guide. So I decided to get a copy off of Amazon, an ebook, and it looks like this. It is a really good book. It was pretty like right to the point. I really liked it a whole bunch. One of the things she mentioned in the Thrive Guide is um, some binders. So I want to explain a little bit how I set my binders up for nursing school. And if you are interested, keep on watching. Okay, so in the Thrive Guide, the author mentions making basically like a master schedule. This schedule consists of all your labs, all your clinicals, all your assignments, exams, everything. So I've been using what well, I'm going to start this semester using Notion. One of the Notion templates was a master schedule template. Mm -hmm. On that master schedule template, I decided to use it and I printed it out. And it just is able to give me my courses, whatever the assignment is, if it's lab, if it's an exam, is it just lecture, HESI, and then it includes the dates and like the tasks, like is it clinical, is it an exam, stuff like that. And I did, I downloaded, sorry, I printed off two copies of it to put inside of my fundamentals binder and into my clinical binder. In the book, the author mentions having three binders, one for lecture, one for clinical, and another that's a mega binder. Um, she, she suggested that you have a four inch, five inch size binder for your mega binder, but I couldn't find one, so I just got a two inch for now. And she also mentioned to get dividers so you can divide um, your weeks up. Thankfully, my teacher um, split it up for us for um, as units. So week one is unit one. So I started off like this, and I also, it was very important to me to get um, dividers with pockets. So if I get any handouts, and also that's where I wanted to make sure that I placed my study guide that I put together from lecture notes. And um, so here's my unit one, and then this is our reading assignment. And then this is some outcome and objections that she gave to us. And that's kind of how um, my nursing fundamentals binder is set up when in the book she um tells you basically once you finish one week or one unit or however your teacher um phrases it to instead of keeping it in the folder you move it to your mega binder so when it comes to the end of the semester you have all the um paperwork that you have from the beginning in your Mega binder <laughs> is to move just my my lecture notes, my study guide to this one after I finish the exam. One thing I did try to make a note of for myself is if I did the study guide, but mm -hmm. something was on the exam that was not on the study guide, to make notes of it um, in a separate sheet of paper because it may come handy um, for NCLEX or if we have an accumulative uh, exam at the end. And then I also have my um, nursing clinical binder. And this one is pretty much set up the same way. And I got the same dividers with the pockets. And I know that this the pockets are really gonna come in handy because um, during clinicals, that is when we do like care plans and when we're going to have like skills labs and it's like a few other like checkoff sheets that's in here and I know that you kind of have to carry them around so the best place for it to be is in one place. I did want to mention that the um, I wanted to buy some binder covers but your girl was trying to save money <laughs> so I was able to go ahead on Canva and just kind of make one myself and I think they came out pretty nice and they all match. They all go together. So that's that's the plan. That's the binder system. If you have not read that book, it is a really good book to kind of help you through nursing school. I do feel like it could be updated, but I digress. And I wanted to go in a little bit in depth of how I plan on studying during this semester. 
So my teacher, she was very open about making sure that you look at outcomes and objectives before class. And basically outcomes and objective is probably like a good idea of what is exactly is going to be on the exam. One thing that she did give us is like little notes, I guess, that goes along with her lecture. So my plan is to make sure that I'm present for lecture. I'm going to make sure that I am, um, I take all these notes because it's a, the little papers that she gave us, it's like 20 of them per, <laughs> per unit. So basically go through, condense them best I can and make it a note, like a study guide on notability. And I feel like that is important because I, I learned through repetition and writing, listening to her say it and writing it down on these notes, then taking these notes and writing it down in notability, that's me hearing and reading it three times already. And then I plan on taking the my study guide and changing it into all questions and to make them into Anki cards. I had a hard time choosing between Quizlet and Anki, but I, and I think I'm going to go with Anki because they do a very good job with space repetition and us also active recall so that is my game plan for nursing school and how I plan to study and this is a look, deeper look into my binders and again we all go ahead and grab this book because this lady did her thing okay also I noticed that they her business also had planners and a lot of people really enjoyed the planners and I'm thinking about getting one next semester I don't know yet Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and comment how you plan on studying. I know I got a lot of nursing school babes in here. So how do you plan on studying this semester? Um, any ideas? I'm open to everything. <laughs> um, and just let me know in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed, go on and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And I'll talk to you later.